This is the battle of the home networking panels. Introducing in the right corner, built in 2007, that little panel that could, and terribly undersized, and not much to look at. And in the left corner, debuting in 2019, the heavyweight champion, bringing sexy back, and faster than one gig speeds. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me, you guys are awesome. So today is a retrospective look at a home networking panel from our previous home we bought back in 2007. And I want to compare and contrast that networking panel with our latest and greatest networking panel that we have today. All right guys, this battle of home network panels is gonna be a five round match. First round is size, second round is location, third round is power outlets, fourth round is amount of devices in the panel, and last round is panel door and ventilation. Hey Apollo, can you ring the bell? There are many differences between these two network panels, and obviously size is one of them. And believe it or not, the smaller panel was in a larger home, a much larger home. All right guys, the new panel is a very large panel in size. It's got 10 feet of LED strips around it. That gives you an idea of how big this panel is. Also, panel depth is way deeper than the other panel. I would say almost twice as deep, which in turn lets you install thicker devices. All right, so we know this panel is much larger than the older panel, but does a smaller panel have any advantages? Well, yes, there are some advantages to a smaller panel. First, a smaller panel fits in smaller spaces. Like for this wall here, it would fit right here. Larger panel would not. Number two, a smaller panel is easier to manage because there's less devices. And the third advantage to a smaller panel is simplicity. So if you're tight on space and all you have is a modem and a router and maybe a switch, then a small panel will work for you. However, there is zero room for growth. And I vote for the bigger panel because we know bigger is better. And to be honest, to put this small of a panel in a two-story home with five bedrooms is kind of ridiculous. So round one size goes to the new panel. Round two, location. Now both of these panels were installed in bedroom closets. Our newer panel was installed in the master bedroom closet. While I do believe there could have been a better location like the laundry room or pantry, this location is pretty good. Our Wi-Fi coverage is great throughout the house. However, the old home, the 2007 home, that panel had a terrible location. This panel was stuck in a small closet upstairs towards the back of the house. And with our wireless router installed in that closet, to get Wi-Fi signal downstairs was almost impossible and spotty at best. Once again, that panel location should have been in the center of the home. And to be honest, that panel location sucks. So round two location goes to the new panel. All right, round three, let's talk about power outlets. The old panel in 2007 had one power outlet to plug in two devices. And once again, for a home this size, you're gonna have more than two devices in that panel. So for me, that's an obvious failure by the builder not to install additional power outlet. There should be four power outlets in that panel, minimum. All right, guys, as far as the power outlets for this panel, we have four outlets for four devices, which is not nearly enough, as you can see. We have one power outlet here, as well as a backup power supply here. Both panels fail when it comes to power outlets, so round three is a draw. All right, guys, round four. In this round, we're gonna compare how many devices can go into each box. Obviously, the panel from 2007 cannot hold as many devices as the newer box. As you can see, our newer network panel has lots of devices. Okay, with this new panel, you can see the amount of devices we have here. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll go eight, nine devices. Also has the power bricks here, as well as LED lighting. Way more than the old panel. So round four definitely goes to the newer network panel. And even though we know the newer network panel has already won the battle, round five is the panel cover. Our newer network panel has a panel cover that's hinged. However, the older network panel does not. The cover for this panel is screwed on with four screws. And while that makes it very secure and hard to open and get to, that kind of is the point. It's kind of hard to get to. So if you're going to be going in and out of that panel a lot, unscrewing four screws every time is a big pain. Also, that panel door has no ventilation. And by leaving that panel door on, the devices inside that panel will get hot and overheat. All right, guys, as you can see here, we do have a door, opens and closes. Also has ventilation here as well. This ventilation lets all the heat out when it gets hot. But to be honest, I leave this door open most of the times because it gets very hot in here. But round five does go to the new panel. So the clear winner is the new panel. And one thing I want to advise anybody who's building a home or buying a home, make sure your network panel is large enough for all your devices especially in a two-story home. You need a large panel. Even though the older home only had seven Cat5e cables going into that panel, 
but there was a lot of coax going in that panel. And all those wires and cables made the panel even smaller, especially when you wanted to add devices. If you look at this video, you can see we have a Wi-Fi router on a shelf. There was absolutely no room in the panel. And that's a shame, because a house that size should have a massive network panel. But once again, learn from those builders' mistakes and make sure you install a large network panel. And if you have a small network panel in your home, I would encourage you to remove that panel and install a larger one. And make sure that panel is in the central location of your house. But guys, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching. And guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure to give a thumbs up and share it. And hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.